take a couple. I thought we'd take a couple minutes, and because uh, you had a, a week break or more, uh, any questions, experiences, anything with this sense of uh, uh, thinking, feeling, finer feeling, sensing, and then finer sensing to that, that that. Any any uh, observations, experiences, anything on 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 that before we go into tonight's subject? That was a question. Hello out there. Hi, Sensei. Hi, I hear sensei. It's Kenny. Ken. It's Ken. Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kenny. Hey. Um. The sensing, it's hard to talk about it without saying the word feeling. But, you know, when I'm sensing, I feel here, I feel that I am here now. The thinking is the very abstract. Even if I think I'm thinking about now. Yeah, that's why it was drawn this way, Kenny. <laughs> I didn't take sensing and put it over there someplace or up there someplace. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I uh, just as much as it, it's obvious, it's obvious. Um, it's surprising to me how effective it is as a practice. It's very simple and very effective. Is that a compliment to my work, Kenneth? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Compliment to the intelligence of creation. Uh, enabling us to figure this out and experience this yes oh boy thanks kenny uh, anybody anything on uh, your great insights experience with uh with that as i say it's mike um well i was kind of following on from what kenny was saying i, I certainly always felt that the word feeling included sensing um until recently and your uh very definite approach to having them as two separate things or, or things that move on one from the other. And for me, what came out of that was that feeling is, is within me and sensing is my connection to what's outside of me. Could, uh, That's kind of how it, it's made sense to me. Right. Could we also say that in sensing there's like, sense feeling not the heavy physical feeling but something akin to feeling when you're sensing you feel things oh yes yes yeah. it's it's it, although the, there may not be a tangible aspect to it in terms of touching yes it is but yeah. it is my experience of the outside world rather than within me so that feeling is very much i feel i feel what's happening within me i sense what's happening around me um, that's just that's what's kind of made more sense to me yeah i i, I would just myself not present it that way because people use feeling as a heavy word and they'll feel a little finer and then say okay now i'm sensing in the outer world uh, uh sensing has a type of feeling let's say that subtle feeling <laughs> not a tangible feeling but a subtle feeling and in that world of sensing the world is sensed at finer levels. Are we screwing up too many words here? Well, as, as you all said previously, it is the problem are the words. But yes, no, I'm, I'm completely on, on, on track with what you're saying. Okay. And we're okay, yeah. <clears throat> Bob, you know, I, I myself, when we talk about sensing, I, I would not want to talk about sensing having so much to do with the outer world as the inner world it's uh, my sense of sensing is a, a more in, internal experience yeah could we say it this way yes it's internal you get to a level of sensing internally and because of that you're sensing from that level things around you at that level. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I'm just cautious about using the word world tends to th make us think about the uh, the uh, the manifest world. 
Well, that's where we are. (laughs) That's where we are still, you know, and we're just at a finer level when we talk about sensing. We're in the manifest world, but very fine when sensing comes into play. (laughs) I'm in the physical world when I'm playing with an energy body. It's a finer energy vibration than the physical body. But I'm still in the manifest world. I'm just at a better level. Yeah, I'm not Bobby used, anymore. Yeah. No, I shouldn't have used manifest. But but my sense is it's still a more interior kind of experience is, is what. Uh, well, yeah, I think we need to have that first. Yeah. Then <laughs> if you have an inner sensing, then uh, and this is a, a program for a week or two from now. I'm going to play with that. The senses, the senses. Uh, So, for example, uh, inner world of sensing. And then if your dog is sitting in front of you, some people have an affinity for that lineage. And they'll sense the dog's expressions. You can talk dog. That's how I used to talk to dogs. It, It wasn't just, but that's a different, for a different weekend for a different Friday. So pass on that for now. I'm gonna cover that clearly when I do a Friday night on it. Anybody, anything? Or is it time to move on? Brad, what's our count? We are at 23. Quiet tonight, why is it quiet tonight? We got a major here. Okay. Ah. Okay, manifest hidden divine. Uh, Also, another word we introduced to you uh, with the hidden uh, was uh, domain. Okay. Um, When I first approached it, I thought hidden were the finer energies, dimensions that were getting kind of fine where the heavy people couldn't quite catch it. And when I first thought that was probably hidden. They're there, but because people are kind of too heavy, they're too bobby-ish or too one in uh, a one by a one by, they can't pick it up because it's in the three by or four by or something. Uh, 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 It's more than that. It's more than in the manifest. Uh, It's that, well, I'm not getting ahead of myself. Uh, Anyway, I just wanted to say, when we say hidden, we're also saying, the uh, domain word, domain, hidden, hidden, domain. Oh, okay, is that, is that all right? Uh, where should we go here? Where should we go here? Uh, this crosshair thing that's here is purposeful. Uh, it sort of hopefully infers in the manifest, the green picture, in the manifest and the dimensionality that are there, the heavier to finer, the Bobby, Robert, not though, the one by two by three by that's here and now, uh, uh, that were, and I call it squaring away, another thing, being the here and now sort of squared away uh, kind of thing, okay? Uh, so that there's a bit of sense of that squared awayness or that uh, 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 addition sign thing. Uh, You need quite a bit of that uh, to properly move into the next light blue here is the uh, 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 the hidden, okay, Uh, the domain realm, and you need to be squared away there at that level to some degree, a good degree, to potentially move into the heavenlies. The heavenlies are very fine, very original. And we're getting past everybody's pay grade here. But uh, my job is to map. My job is to point the finger to the moon, if you would. So I, that's what I'm doing. I'm pointing the finger. Uh, oh, oh, boy. Now, one of my fears is in talking about fancy stuff like divine is people get a sense of it, a picture of it, an idea about it. I understand it. I believe it. I'm there. That 
scares the hell out of me, okay? It's critical to have experience into finer, experience into eventually hidden experience, if you can get this far, into the heavenlies. Okay, so you need that experience also. It's not just conceptual idea, map, belief. But we need that experience, okay? Critical, critical. So when you hear me jump on some people, it's probably in that area. You're talking about it. Yeah, that's cool. We should talk about it. Uh, we should have a picture of it, potentially. We should have some ideas. Yes, information. Yes, 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 yes. And that's not the totality of it. And you're going to get screwed up if you continue with that. It's going to like spin you out of the fine. You try to get to finer and it'll like spin you out is the best way I pick it up. Uh, back to a, uh, uh, something before it. So uh, the fullness, that, that's again why the crosshairs are there to represent the fullness, the fullness. Okay. Uh, one of old sensei's presentations of trying to get people fuller was deeper roots, deeper roots. And when we get into uh, uh, going over more clearly, the uh, downtime, the trade in. Uh, uh, depth is very important, depth of experience, okay? Not just an awareness about depth of experience. Am I bouncing all around the place here tonight? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> so, in the green, manifest all of our basics settling getting some harmony left right female male uh, whatever form you're using ah oh oh ah whatever form you're using uh, whatever little variations of words you use okay under force is going up upper force is going down male female okay right fire water Oh, sensei? Okay. Izanagi is a nami? Okay. So uh, whatever words that are comfortable for you are fine. Okay. Now, in the green, in the manifest, we get a certain amount of development. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, Bobby to Robert Nadeau is an example, moving from a one-by-one -one set to a four-by-four -four set. Uh, that's development. Now, soon, uh, let's say around there, you have the potential to have uh, a sense of, of how it works in the manifest, the dimensionality of things. Um, some sense of aware experience, experiencing aware. Uh, you have some some sense and some experience with that. Some place in there, you're kind of lining up and there'll be a potential to move into this next, oh, what to call it? Move into the hidden, move into the uh, domain, okay? okay? Now, very important. Uh, well, I'm going to skip the manifest because I've been playing in there for quite a while. I know all about it. So I'm going to skip that. I'm going for the domain. Lady will say, I'm, I'm going to skip all of this. I'm going for the heavenlies. And you won't line up. You won't experience the things you have to experience on this journey. Okay. So, so these, and I, I don't mean to keep you in every day, you start with a very tight half by half, and then you move into a one by one. And then, uh, you know, after a while, you get better at it, and you wake up and you have a hate, and boom, you're, you're right there. You're at a three by three on a good day. Okay. Uh, we laid those out so you can see how it works, where a one by one comes in, how to recognize a one by one. Okay. How to move from a one by two a by, how to move from a Bobby to a Robert to a Nato. Ah, but once you have the, the experiential sense of that, easy, settle, right about there, probably a good clue 
is the uh, uh, self sensing, some sense of self sensing. That's probably a good clue. Uh, I would say that uh, a fair amount or a certain amount of sensing clues you in that you don't have to continue with left, right, uh, uh, Mr. Nado, oh, the great sensei, no, the superior great sensei, and on and on and on with the developmental form of the manifest. It goes on and on and on. So you don't have to go on and on and on. To forever, it's going to be forever. It's not, okay? A sensei in many ways told you potentially very fast. Potentially very easy. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> okay. uh, trying to, in a certain way, explain the simplicity of this overlay diagram that here you are, square away, this next world, what we call hidden, what he called hidden, what I call domain, have to hang out there a bit. Okay, the, not the rules are changing. I don't have the good word yet, but, but you're not in the uh, back and forth developmental thing when you make that shift. It's, it's, it's a bit different, okay? It's not just another finer dimension, okay? Uh, and the hangout there in the domain, in the hidden, oh, since they use for me, with me the uh, three words, says it's like a gymnasium. Therefore, you have some, not physical body, but a body sense. Maybe by that time, we won't use the word bodies. One day we'll come around on uh, archetypes, archetype body, very advanced body, okay? Uh, but there is a, so he likes gymnasium because he wants to keep this uh, uh, body presence. He wants to really retain that here and now. He called it a laboratory. You need to hang out a fair little bit and play and see how things work much clearer than they did in the manifest. Okay, we see how some things work in the manifest, but here it's how things work at this level, could we call it? So a gymnasium, a laboratory, a, li a library. It's things to be learned, experienced, learned, experienced, learned. Okay, so he liked those three words that he told me. <laughs> uh, so you just don't jump through it. I want to get to the heavenlies. Uh, you got to hang there for a bit. If you, in fact, can get there, okay? How you get there? Make sure your basics in the green manifest, your Bobby Robert Nadeau, whatever style you're using, okay? And use a vi vibratory style of, of harmony to get a dot to, and self-sensing to be able to, for lack of words, pass through into the, the, blue, the, the light blue world. Well, you, I hope I'm not losing you, okay? Uh, heavenlies. So again, back to the light blue world. Light blue world hanging out there uh, and the realization, the experience, the realization that you're in that world. Uh, oh, since they would say, the textures are a bit different than what you're used to in the manifest. Manifest heavier, finer, 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 finer. And there are certain textures. He said the textures here are a bit different. My feeling there, my experience with it, is uh, you really have to be a pretty good sensor, <laughs> a good sensing to sense that, oh, this is different than the manifest world. Okay. Um, to not carry the rules of the manifest, which heretofore have been very good, very important. I'm not putting them down. I'm just saying in, in a certain way, I don't have the word yet. The rules change a bit. <laughs> Sense of thing 
changes a bit, okay? All right. So I'm not putting down the green. I'm not putting down the time we spent in it or the developmental work we spent in it. Or since I would say, very important. You need some practice there of sort of how it develops. Uh, then again, the possibility, when you reach a certain level in the green, right? It might happen with some people say, maybe you've heard stories like this before, where somebody is a great swordsman or whatever. He's just the best of the best of the best. And instead of trying to get better, he says, ah, what's it all about? It's kind of like he's, he's bored or he sees the, I don't know, not necessarily limitations. He can get better, but he's like, ah. Where he says, there must be something else going on here. This is his first inklings of the hidden or domain territory. I don't know if that story came across properly, but. Uh, I'm losing myself here. Help. Where are we? Mr. No, I see your picture up there. Help me here. Say something intelligent. <laughs> well, you were describing a, a, an experience with a with a very great uh, swordsman, getting a sense that that there's more. Uh, when you read the uh, Book of Five Rings by Musashi, well, I know since it wasn't that enamored of, but uh, he says, let, me, let me let me correct. He also said, uh, it's not that he was anti-Musashi. He was anti how people were depicting him and reading him. That irked him. Musashi per se didn't irk him. Okay. Because what people did with that. I understand. Yeah. Anyway, he says in the Book of Five Rings, when he reached about 30, that exact realization began to come in that there had to be more than being the best swordsman in Japan, which he probably was by that point in time. And he knew there was more than that. Yeah. And so he spent the rest of his life trying to develop what that more was. Yeah, you leave the playing field, so to speak. You enter the monastery <laughs> or the Zendo or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So not, not an unusual happening. We're trying to map that out, trying to make it clearer for you. Uh, help me here, people. Where, where am I? Don't want to lose you. Got ahead of myself or got lost in there. Say something. Hey, Say Sensei. I, oh, I'll defer to Tija. Oh, well. Tija? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I think one of the important things that's so uh, challenging to depict in a, in a picture yeah, we, we've done the best we could, I think, at, at the moment. Is uh, and so. you said it, you said it very well. Is the overlay nature of these of these areas of the domain with the manifest with the uh, so-called divine? Right. But the uh, the fact that, that it's not just this layer, and then we're beginning the next layer. They, they, the membranes are permeable and they, they, um, yeah. they kind of bleed, uh, so to speak, in, in between them. Yeah. So if, if we understand that, I think that's an important understanding uh, so that we're not looking for necessarily really uh, definitive differences between manifest and hidden as we move into the domain, as we move into hidden energies, it's, you know, it's like you're at the edge of a forest and walking in and you're, you can still see the meadow because that's where you're coming from, but you get more deeply oh. into it. If you don't mind my, uh, my metaphor. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't want to get people into going through the forest and looking at the trees. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the best uh, I could come up with at the moment. Uh, yeah. yeah, the overlay. See, we tried to present in the manifest many examples of overlay. 
when I said on Bobby. Uh, easy, I do a little something easy, easy, easy. Oh, here's Robert. I stand straighter. Okay. I, I have a little more bounce in my legs. I'm a little stronger. I'm a little more confident. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, they're both here and now. Bobby is here and Robert is here. If you reach in their wallet, it's the same license. Yep. It's not somebody else's license. So it's an overlay. So we've tried to do overlay forever. Okay. And the, here's just an arm. Yeah. Easy. Da, da, da. Here's an arm with a bit of energy flowing through it. And whoa, somebody pushes. It's a bit different. Oh, it'll break, but it hmm, felt different. Ah, settle here. Now, aware, experience, experiencing aware. Ah, fuller energy. Boom. Now we start to, uh, where the partners say, oh my God, this is a tough one, potentially. It, oh, they're all in the same place, but that's been overlaid. Bobby's arm, a little bit of energy, uh, arm. That level of uh, energy flow, arm. Okay. And that's all we've been trying to do for years with this overlay. And, you know, uh, uh, do the movement and you do the movement and you see you trick them a little bit sometimes. You say, now, if you're really settled and calmer, it's just a great calm day for you. But play that game as best as you can. Not the idea of the game, but uh, like play the game. Now do the same technique. And whoa, it ought to be different to the uge, different to the nage, different to anybody watching. Same person, same technique, same dojo, but he's at a different level. It's overlaid. <laughs> okay, so overlay in a certain way shouldn't be a big problem for you. Uh, we've been on that forever. Yeah, we really have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that reminds me of one of the things that you used to do to demonstrate the, uh, the overlay in working with the technique you, uh, in Aikido on the mat, you'd, you'd notice that somebody has that pretty good. And you'd say, okay, now this is not just your uke, this is your ex-wife or something like that. I change the situation. You yeah. change the situation and the dynamics then between the where a person may have had real fluid movement, how they change. They, they changed it, yes. Dramatically. Yeah, dramatically. And I love that game with people. And they yeah. loved it too because it was so apparent. It revealed. They were changing their set. You know. It reveals a lot. And then also has the potential for you to, to settle in there and to understand the places where you are blocking. Where yeah, you, yes, to make corrections. Yes. To make the important refinements and corrections. Yes. Yeah. But that's another, that, I think that's a good over, uh, good example, a, a example of an overlay. Yeah. Yeah. So to speak. Yeah. Well, since I tried to uh, stress that with the words that a here and now, don't go anywhere. It's here and now. Okay. But no, heaven's way over there, way up there someplace. Ah, yeah. Right through the middle. Bing, 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 bang. Yeah. Okay. That was an, that was yet another one. I think I've said it before that that um, this is also on the mat, and we were talking about finer energies. I was actually using the term the psychic plane or something like that, and I asked you, you know, how how am I going to get to uh, you know a greater appreciation or connect with the the psychic plane? How do I get there? I said, and you said it's right here. Yeah, I mean that was back in the eighties. So you were recognizing and teaching this uh, at that time. Yeah. Yeah, this has been around for a while. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I said, I was a child prodigy. <laughs> I won't go that far. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> but I do remember as a teenager, 15 or something, uh, 16 looking at the world and saying shit is this it if this is it i don't i don't give a damn it's, eh. i just i just 
couldn't see any rhyme, reason, whatever to it. So I knew something I uh, was missing. Well, it was me missing the ability to move into finer dimensions because uh, at that time I'm a weird teenager. Uh, okay. Okay. So again, the, again and again, the importance of in, in doing your process through these that uh, yes, your view on it. Yes, you're uh, seeing this picture or reading something, you understand it better. Yes, yes, and yes. But there's it's, I, don't, I call it its partner or the other half. Uh, the full experience equal to your view, the full experience is critical. And that's the crosshairs again. You just do it with awareness, awareness, awareness. You can get pretty into very fine dimensions in my history. Uh, and it's beautiful, very fine, but something was missing. As beautiful as it was, something was missing. Okay. So my question when I went to Japan was, uh, uh, I know it works here in my meditation, beautiful, finer dimensions. And I knew there was a trickle down. Maybe I was nicer one day or could move a bit better one day or something like, like that. Uh, but does it, does it really, is it really here, basically? And when I saw those sense, I said, oh, shit, yeah, look at it. It's really here. Now I got to learn how to really be here with it, whatever the right words are. Okay, so that was my question. There he was. Good. Now, help me get there. I'll do the best work I can. But along my journey, I'll pop out now and then ask you a question to help facilitate my journey. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Am I losing myself? Am I losing you? A beautiful overlay, really. A, uh, overlay. A, be a beautiful layout diagram, potentially. Okay. I don't know where to, I don't know what to ask. I don't know what to, it's squared away. It's comfortable. Figure out the the, the beats that of harmony, the hey to the ho, or the left to the right, or the he to the she, whatever, whatever form you like, fine. Uh, again, uh, following uh, uh, one comment from Osensei, you all have an, a form that you like, is comfortable for you, we would say, but try a couple of the others out. It gives you a little different angle on them, I would say. Okay. So let's say you're a musician. Well, you're damn well probably going to like vibratory kinds of things, whatever you call it. Tija, vibratory. Oh, oh okay. We're... Yeah, great. Vibrational, vibratory. Yeah. You bet. Uh, but you might want to try a couple of the other patterns, maybe the he, she pattern or, or something. Anyway, so that was a suggestion from 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 him. Ah, I think the sensing we're starting to uh, head into sensing quite a lot late, lately. Uh, we'll come back at it again and again, um, but can be very helpful positioning tool or a tool that you'll need uh, if in fact you move into the light blue hidden domain world. Okay. If in hanging out there and whatever, 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 ah, you're pretty fancy and you move into the heavenly, uh, there it is. It'll be quite obvious. Oh, Sensei's story about the naval captain, why that's an important story for him was because it was this, how to say it? 
his mm, it's a, his first fuller presence in the heavenlies. Okay. Oh, he had hints about it, little pre-flash throughs, which we all get along the way. We get a little flash through something really fancy. What the hell was that? And you can't duplicate it because you're not sure what it was. Okay. Uh, so you can get little flash throughs along the way. Maybe even from the green, you can get flash throughs about the blue. Uh, big deal. Uh, any, anyway, so where's those sensei here? Uh, his, I would say his first fuller presence in the heavenlies, okay, where he got the word, you don't need a uh, bow can. I think it's bow cans, I'll say they're using swords, but bow can will kill you. <laughs> Champion is swinging. <laughs> uh, you don't need it. <laughs> and there was this fuller presence of self in the heavenlies and how it worked at that level that wowed him, okay? So that's why the story is important to him. It was his first fuller presence at that level. Blah, 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 blah. Where in the hell are we? <laughs> Hello out there in the world. That's That's it. It. Justin, oh, Justin go it. ahead. You, you go this time. <laughs> <laughs> We're in synchrony today. It's so good. You go ahead. Who's that? So, thank you. Thank you, DJ. I, I just wanted to, to point out that um, one other concept that you've been bringing up a lot lately um, that we've been experiencing and aware of is that of space. And as we said, uh, yeah, this position is it's overlaid uh, within a certain space that we're connected to our awareness and experience of on finer levels, and we settle past the thinking, and then a feeling into a sensing uh, that um, comes with inherently access to a finer sense of the space that we're operating in, both within and and in connection to the world that yeah. we're in as far as this overlay is concerned. So I just want to come back around to space. Yeah. And in using, we touched it pretty good the other week when we touched space, uh, a few beats on the bigger of space, the next few beats on the finer of space, and the next few beats on the more original of space. Uh, it's boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's a good trick that uh, you probably will be utilizing along the way here. Uh, yeah. Could be a faster form. Uh, you don't have to dig your way out of a one by one to a two by and then have to go through the dry walls or the, or the brick walls and whatever. Uh, just space, space, space. And uh, you're, you're moving through those. So it could be potentially a faster form space and in this larger space then along the way you'll say well who am i uh or where am i and who am i in this larger space and you let it show itself and mix up the character you at that level okay uh, so it, it will be a fast trick after after a while so it was uh good that you got uh i think it felt to me because uh, we're on Zoom, but it felt to me after that class of space, it just felt really good. Like a lot of people got something out of this bigger space that was there. So, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I would only say it's, it's obvious when we're in a thinking compartmentalized mm -hmm. or a feeling or a sensing. If I'm boxed into a very one by one thought if you're boxed into a one by one all this is bullshit you don't yes, understand exactly. and you don't care exactly. yes case in point through that where's my beer <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. 
but that's also why we're trying to get to facilitate people being taught how, helping them move from a one by one to a two by two to start to get the game going. Because we would like to have them experience the more, but they can't when they're all that boxed in. For them, it sort of doesn't exist. Uh, Lauren used the term his mother, grandmother used Lauren. The cold hard facts, what would you say? Uh, uh, the hard cold reality. Okay, hard reality. Now we don't know what level she was talking about. It could have been the one by one hard reality. Or it could have been even the two by and the three by, those are still for some people hard reality. Uh, as you continue, I don't think you'd use that phrase at that those levels. I don't think a four by four. In talking about a four by four presence experience would use that phrase, but definitely a good phrase in the one by two bys, because it is. Ah. <laughs> well, in, 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 in my specific case, I, the, the, the instant I remember most was I was maybe, you know, 18, 19 years old involved in student protests and I was very idealistic and mouthing off. And she was telling me to basically, you know, cut the crap and, and realize that the real world didn't work that way as I imagined it. And she was offering hard, cold reality as a contrast to my idealism. There you go. Mm. Uh, sensei, I, I, uh, I, I said something when um, uh, bef we were waiting for you that I, I'm happy to share again. And that is that this sense of overlay that you've been talking about tonight, um, you know, these, these energies, these dimensions exist all at the same time, all in the same place. And um it it reminds me of how the energies of radio waves move all around us and uh if we tune the radio if if we ourselves are a better receiver we can hear different channels and you know the, the practice is to kind of tune ourselves to be able to receive these energies at a different dimension or a different frequency that's, I think. that's the game yeah that's why I call in the healers. Right. They move in themselves into a finer, finer, and whatever they're dealing with, they're picking it up finer. Yep. So they see yep. things in the patient. Other people in the same fields who are there say, how'd you know that? How'd you see that? Why'd you say that? Because they're still in the heavies, but they've done their process. They're settling, opening finer dimension, and then with the patient client. Yes, yes, and yes. Yeah. So however you want to depict it, and I'll come around again when I do census. Uh, we'll kind of go over uh, what we're talking about now. Hopefully a bit better and clearer. Uh, so I don't, people, I don't know where I'm at tonight. Uh, it's a very important picture. Um, Am I missing something? I jump over something. Sensei, if I could ask a question. Yes. Um, about a year ago, you showed us a similar diagram. Concentric circles manifest hidden and divine. But uh, in that diagram, it was the other way around. It was a manifest on the outside, divine on the inside. And I understand that there's, it's kind of arbitrary how you do this. Yeah. It's okay. not really concentric circles, but could you explain you know, right, that change. Yes, please. One thing was in putting the uh, divine sort of in, people might have got the idea that it was in. It's in their belly button or it's their hara. Uh, they might have actually had a sense of in. Uh, so I thought this was a bit better. 
Yeah, I go inward to a finer dimension. And then I go inward to a finer dimension and learn the rules there, the, the harmony rules and the finer character that's there on center, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then continuing, if you set this up right, in the green, there's a potential some people will continue into the next realm of sensei calls hidden. I often call domain. Uh, that's here. <laughs> it's overlaid. <laughs> so where are we on that? Yeah, uh, I mean, putting manifest at the, at the core of the diagram yeah. helps reconcile it with the vortex that's yeah. know, <laughs> inwards yeah. to, the, to the denser. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the explanation. As we, as I develop better, and we go over things better, uh, I'll alter things. I told you uh, my first uh, 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 early sense of hidden was very fine energies that the heavy dudes couldn't pick up. Okay, it was hidden. Uh, and then I eventually realized, experienced, oh, wait, no, this is, this is a, a whole other thing. Okay, it's not just a finer dimension. Yeah, it's sort of following that pattern, but you don't have dimensional walls. Once you get out of the manifest into the domain that's here. Okay, uh, we can still have a sense of dimensionality, but don't make it thick or hard because it's not so. It's a bit freer or much freer. Okay, self begins to experience itself much more. However you are experiencing self in the green manifest creation world, uh, if you can pass, if you have the experience of passing through to the domain hidden world, much freer, much freer, much freer. Okay. Much clearer on how things work, okay? Again, a very important training place. Bob, uh, you used a word on uh, uh, something in relation to a go-between place where you're, you remember a, a, a go-between place where you're in this realm, but you want to go to the next realm, but there's a interim place. Uh, I think yeah, not a, tra a transitional place and that may one of the things you taught us is that initially that transitional place may feel uncomfortable. For example, if you're going from manifest to hidden, if you're strong in the manifest, as you make oh. that transition, you may feel like you're losing your manifest capabilities. Yes, yes. But that's not true. Uh, yeah, but you feel but, it for a moment. You could get quite confused for a bit. Yes, because you've been using these nice set rules which you have to learn experience, you have to play with, have to develop, very important. But then when this happens, if there's a, for lack of words, pass through, uh, it could be a little confusing because you still have the, what? Uh, the, not just the mind of the manifest set, uh, but you're, you're kind of used to it. You develop there. You are doing good and suddenly, what the hell is this? This is different. And your old tricks sort of don't work here. It's a, it's a different type of tricks. Okay. We had a mutual acquaintance who was very strong on manifest uh, as it related to Aikido. And then long after it was overdue, began to experience the hiddenness as uh, described as champagne bubbles. And it scared the person so much that they went back to the manifest and said, I'm never going to do that again. Let me position them better. Uh, that was, wasn't even that far. That was the finer energy dimensions. Right. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, that sense of, whoa, what's that? Yeah. Uh, or that's why I have to go over the misunderstanding and fear of the trade in downtime underworld okay because if you're not going through that you're 
missing a lot of experience, it'll be very difficult to move through properly. Again, you won't be able to go as far as you can go with just awareness of. Sorry. And I know the heavy duty awareness people don't believe me or they don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm aware there, therefore I'm experiencing. I can sort of feel something I'm experiencing. And I say, I tell you a dumb story. That's the bathtub you're standing near. You see the steam, you feel the steam, but you're not in the bathtub soaking. <laughs> I'm sorry I present dumb stories, but I'm trying to get this across. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Bob, as I was talking to you, I had this flash that back in the day, we use a different story or word for this changing room place. Is that bring any bells up from the old days? Uh, was that the turnaround? Is that is that what you're referring no, to? No, it was a, like a dressing room or a changing place or a Sorry, that's it. Nothing's covered up. It'll, it'll come to me if it's important. Thank you. Ah, uh, people, where are we? This is again sort of an important diagram. So, please, anything that's throwing you here, uh, let's let's clarify as best we can. Uh, Sensei, one thing you did say, I don't know if this is what you were thinking of, is that when you first encounter the, the change, uh, you referred to it as sort of the difference between being kind of a tourist, a uh, green card holder, a uh, citizen, and then maybe the mayor or something. You know, you go through a, a fuller and fuller experience of where you are. Yeah, and, and that holds true in the green. So I brought that story up still in the manifest green, that if you're aware, you're kind of like, a, uh, you may not even be a visitor yet. You got a tour guide book with pictures, <laughs> but you're still not even in country. <laughs> then you start to settle more and you're closer in country. You're a tourist, okay. Fuller experiential, fuller experiential. Here comes the green card and the citizenship. You are a citizen of green. And a citizen of green has the potential right there. I would remind myself about self sensing and also that uh, uh, trick. Uh, that importance of uh, more space, more space to facilitate a cross crossover, a transition. I, I, we, words are sort of a bitch. A crossover means I'm here and I'm going there. And it, it doesn't have that distance in, in it. It's here. Um, I realized I, I was at one point taking Osensei's uh, pipeline. Uh, did I use pipeline? For you people, no? Uh, or the Golden Bridge. Too much as an object that I go, oh, yeah, I see a bridge. I understand what bridges are. And this one's gold. Wow. Uh, that you can sort of get caught up with the measurement and, and that of those words. Here and now, the transitional, the natural transitional. The natural bleed through from the blue through the green and later the natural bleed through from the purple through the blue through the green. And they're oh, there. That's why it was so fancy. Standing in the purple in that land, also being present, there was still an old man there, but he didn't quite look like an old man, but he was still there. This, this. So 
So his purple was here. Okay. And because uh, he was there a lot of the time, uh, people around uh, uh, could borrow, borrow from his vibrations. Uh, things were pretty spiffy when he was around in the dojo. Okay, we were all, I don't know, extra sharp, extra spiffy. When he left, a lot of things changed. Mary Heine tells you, very good. A uh, couple of few days, and suddenly you're realizing some of these guys are racist. They weren't, didn't show anything like that before or whatever. Uh, but they lost a lot of something because he moved away. So they had been borrowing it. <laughs> Another, a different discussion. Anyway, it's important that you have a sense of this. So don't be afraid to say, I don't quite understand this or that. This is what we're here for. So Sensei, another analogy of this overlay, different contexts, is this anatomy book that I'm sure we're all famous of, the human anatomy. Mm. Me and you've got the skeleton, and then you overlay. I the use that all the time. Curves and then the blah blah. blah. <laughs> yeah, and it's I all right there. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, there. just one page, and even one page is too much. But yes, it's right there. Yeah, uh, and the original page is still there as yeah. you overlay, yeah. as you've said, one layer finer mm. yeah. onto another. You know what I find happening with me as I continue the work. Uh, these different stages I go through of, oh, it's close, it's closer than I thought, oh, wow, yeah, to, oh, my God, it's really close. And then even more of that, oh, my God, it's really, really, really right here close, uh, that I've been going through some series through the later years here with that. Uh, it really is a here and now. <laughs> That's it. You all got Hi, this done. Dusty, I have a question for you. Yes, sir, Mr. Dusty. Um, yeah, that, that diagram and with the manifest in the middle, I'm just wondering, like, can you get to the underworlds from the manifest? You damn well better. You damn well better. <laughs> it's right here. It has settle, open, downtime. That's what we've been covering. What do you think downtime meant? It didn't remember going downtime to the heavenlies up here. Downtime, settle. When you when you actually sit and settle, you're that's the beginning of of of, of a ah, trading in. It's the beginning of down under. But people don't notice those first few inches, so to speak, of it. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like when it comes back up, yeah. Like from the underworld, when it, it's like it's too much. Yeah. You know, it's like gone, and then I get yeah. lost. And yeah. no, if you're going to be small, in fact, I said to you a couple of weeks ago this: if you're a smaller pipeline and you drill a bit and the oil gushes up, this pipeline is too small. It gets all tore up and thrown into the next county because it's a small pipeline. There's no problem here except you settle and open. So we introduce a trick of, the, of creation. There is more room. Settle and open a sense of more room or a bigger pipe there. So then when it comes up, it doesn't push you. It comes up uh, and it naturally balances, could I say? Okay. But if you're getting pushed, I, I see people getting pushed, uh, especially in the back years, uh, in the Aikido Dojo. I'd say settle and I'd say I'm get pushed. Okay. Oh, everybody settle and open. So there's nothing new here. Uh, the downtime is to go into a deeper level of that that comes up, so to speak. Uh, I think, again, we're going to go over downtime trade in the underside of things 
in the following week. So I don't want to get too deep into this. So stay tuned. Yeah, thank you. It's on the agenda. So next week or the week after soon. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Didn't say. Yo. It's, it's Mac here. Um, wait, 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 it's Mark. Mark, yeah. <laughs> Um, just just to help with you know where where I'm at, okay. what what is a really good uh, signpost to know that you are entering a state of experiencing the hidden versus still being in the manifest? Uh, okay, uh, what are the road signs from the manifest of the domain? Is that what you're asking? She's asking, yeah, yeah. how will he know when he's Merge moving from the manifest into the hidden. Okay. Yeah, what 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 was a really good signpost there? Well, as Bob and I were saying, could be a little confusion there because you're leaving this system and you're starting for lack of words and trying to move into this system. I don't know if that's the right way of saying kind of thing, but uh, or you're moving from this world, which is quite definite moving past the last thick uh, membrane into another whole set. Okay, now how do you recognize? Again, oh, since I said the uh, texture is a bit different, but you gotta be a pretty good sensor, sensor, sense well, to pick up that, oh yes, this is different. It's not just another fine vibration. It's not just a, another level like Bobby to Robert and Robert to Sensei and stuff like that. It's it's a bit different, okay? Hopefully you should recognize that difference. Um, we'll, when we go into downtime and go over dark a little bit, uh, we might bring this piece up but let me say it briefly. Let me see. I want to say it right. Uh, that there could be right here for a lot of people, a major trade in from the manifest. You're squared away enough in the manifest, let's say. Okay. You have a sense of things and you've had some experience. Uh, so you're pretty good in the green. You don't have to follow out the green to its very outer edges because it goes on and on finer and finer and finer. But just enough. Is a four by enough? Is a nado plus enough? Yeah, potentially. Depends on you. If not, move on to the next level and check, okay? Uh, begin to trust the self-sensing. It should come more alive and make itself known there. Uh, what seems to be important is there could be a major downtime or dark time there, a major, and not one of the minors that we use and we'll go over uh, in a Friday or two when I, when I, want, I want to go over some of this. Uh, we go through a minor uh, shift from Bobby to Robert or a one by one to a two by two. I think I had you people, uh, we were highlighting the membrane part of it, but to be okay with that moment where you don't know what's going on, it's, nothing's clear. You're not even sure if you're any place. It's sort of potentially empty or something like that. Yeah, easy. Okay. Another important word, if you think you're at this transition, is easy. E don't Start running around, la, 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 la. be easy, easy, let it unfold. If you're there, it'll unfold, it's there. And if you're properly there, words are, I'm making up words now, properly there, it should just begin to unfold that it's there, okay? So yeah, I need to, again, the words, certain amount of tricks to line up right to present myself right, uh, but then it should show when it's ready to show, whatever that means, <laughs> okay? I don't want to keep working too hard because I'm used to working in the linear manifest. And then I'll just keep screwing this up. If I keep going, 
from Robert and Addo to sensei to a great sensei to a superlative sensei. I, I'm not going to catch this because I'm too busy upgrading kind of thing. Uh, I would say, I think a sensei used this phrase with me, enough is enough. You need a certain amount, definitely. You need the practice, the experience, definitely. But there's a certain point where enough is enough. Now, I hate to say that because there are certain types of people that say, okay, I'm smart, enough, let's move on. And it's like, no, that's not enough. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've been doing this for some years. Yeah, but have you been doing it properly? Okay, I know you know, but has there been an experience along with it? Has there been a self actually beginning to sense and make itself known a bit? Uh, you just gotta play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no. It's, not, it's think... good. I just, I just wanted to kind of get a, a bit of a reference because I, I know when I was um, training once um, over with, and you, and you were you were running a really good class and you were really pushing, pushing, kind of, you know, leading us how, how you do. And, um, and, and, I, and I, well, you know, you, 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 you're, you're getting us to go further. You know, My enthusiasm? Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, and then, um, in, in this one particular time that was it was one of my first times I suddenly it was I was I, I don't know something happened something changed and I and this was before I heard the word selves and stuff I realized I was a soul uh, it was a there was a and there was a there was just a change there of oh there's a there's a soul with the self there's a self here there's a there's a me here and this just happens to be my body and then the rules sort of at that point sort of changed uh, okay. it's like yeah, things were changing. Yeah, so uh, I'm just wondering if that if, if if that if that is is sort of a signpost into the, the beginning of what? the hidden. A, I was just wondering. So I, I guess that was my question, which you answered, and because you oh. you mentioned that it was the fact that 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 is a maybe one of the signposts is 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 that a, a, a self is more present. Yeah, sounds good to me. Now. What level were you at? Was it a very good in the manifest uh, Bobby to Sensei level jump? Or were you touching this? I don't know. You play. You play. It should get self evident. You play. Hey. Yeah. So, yeah. Your basics and you hang out. Easy. Hang out. <laughs> Easy. Hang out. <sighs> play. Play a little bit without interfering stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, it should unfold. Yeah. 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 Damn the and, words. And the Damn the words. See, our words are based a lot in the green world. When you start shifting out of that into something else, uh, <laughs> words get tricky. Tricky. Yeah. Uh, even to the point where uh, uh, talking from a finer energy, from a, a nado to a person who's a, a weird Bobby, uh, even there can be difficult. You're talking a different level language to somebody who's ah language. Uh, but when you move through the world, move through this, it's really difficult. I'd say, talk to me about that, how difficult that, that was, how virtually impossible it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Mm. I, say it, it, I think it, you know, what you're getting at is that as we move through these dimensions, it gets harder and harder to use words and, and, uh, 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 you know, because that, what can I say? That the, the signposts are intuitive. They're not. They're they're not statements. They're just. They really are just feelings and sensibilities. And you know, uh, 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 and so 
it, it's going into a domain where language just gets in the way. And I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's why we practice with you, not just sitting in lectures like this, don't you think? Or also what happens a lot is you, you have a good sense of things. So you have a sense of another person and you're in relationship sensing. There is a relationship. And they'll, at their level, uh, use a word for something about their experience. And you, at a similar level, oh, sort of instantly know, oh, th th my word is this, his word is that. Oh, okay. There's no problem. Because we know we're experiencing at the same level, give or take a little bit. So you can use a different word, but I'm at the same level. I understand. Yeah. Thank you. I just, I think it happened to me last week. Somebody used a word. I, I won't remember what. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Somebody says, I'm settling and opening, blah, 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 blah. And, and there's uh, something that happens. That there's a, my soul is there. I go, oh, okay. I call it self. Okay. <laughs> we got no problem here. I don't give a shit what you call it as long as it's the experience of it. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> you know? But a, a Muslim calls it a different name and a Catholic calls it another. And, and American Indians, like, screw all that stuff, people. Get to the level. I don't want to play word games or have you wasting your time arguing about words. How many angels fit on the head of a pin? What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> yeah. Experience, finer levels. Okay. Uh, and so it's, Mike, it's Mike from New Zealand. Um, I was just going to say for me, what I noticed was and uh, realizing moving from the manifest into the hidden. And, I, and I, I think I'd already arrived quite well in the hidden long before I really realized it was, you know, in watching you and trying to um, imitate exactly what you did, which I was seeing from the outside, that um, I wasn't getting the same result. And, it, and, and it was, what do I need to do to, to get that result? And the realization was it's not a doing thing. It's the, it's the whole you know, open and allow, it's easy, the eye, it's, it's not so much in the body, it's, it, it's in the head that we have to let go, basically. Um, if you're still hanging on, yes. If you still have any iota of Bobby's brain or Mikey's brain, it's interfering. So you got to let yeah. go. That, that's first basic. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, it certainly oh, wasn't first it. basic for me. <laughs> It's a, it's a very important one. My first bump into it. I'm in a very nice meditation space, nice vibes, all that stuff. And suddenly I'm complaining, I'm critiquing. What the hell, that shouldn't, that critique or negative guy shouldn't be here in this beautiful space. What the hell happened? And I don't know if it's some of you, <laughs> many years ago, but I realized that I didn't really clear Bobby. I didn't easy Bobby to move into this. I retained somehow, some way, a bit of too much of Bobby. And here I'm in a nice meditation place, but Bobby's throwing shit at it, so to speak, over critiquing, being very negative. I learned very fast, you got to clear, clear. It's very important. I try to tell you this. I say, if you retain too much Bobby, okay, you can't get pregnant. Uh, uh, if you're pregnant, you can't get pregnant. If Bobby's there, you can't have a Robert. If you have half a Bobby there, he's going to screw up Robert. It won't be a pure, full Robert. It'll be Bobby tainting Robert. So however stories we lay out, it's important to clear and to really have a flavor of what that is, because you're just, 
uh, screwing up the 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 the, the flow, the trip, the journey. So it's a couple of important tricks that we all have to learn. Easy the eye it was my presentation of it. I'm sure other religions, Bob, help me. E easy the eye from another religious viewpoint. Uh, emptying the self. Say what? Emptying the self. Empty the self, yeah. Now again, see, I can't use that because I use self to represent a soul consciousness at a certain level, but, but yes, empty, empty. I think that there they're using the word self as the selfish self, the me, me, me self. That's correct. Empty it, empty it, yeah. So we can get to true self eventually here. Yeah. So everybody's got those kinds of stories. Tija, you must have one off the top of your head. Did we lose Tija? Yeah, no, I'm right here. Oh. Um, Something about clearing, emptying, whatever. Give it from a Chinese view. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think one of the words that we use in the Chinese arts is sung. It's it's a word called sung. It's a release downward. Uh, it's a beautiful, you know. It, it's a letting go of trying. Go, yeah. the, the, the word, the the term that's often used is wu wei. It's uh, in the Chinese. It means effortless effort, effortless being and it's dropping down the the sung through the body it's a direct experience it's not and as you were first saying that i felt letting go and then you threw that and said yes letting go there it is and they go well i'll let go of this stuff but this is really important to bobby i re I, I won't let go of that one but i'll let go of all this other not not important nonsense there i've let go you're not being honest yeah. so there's a lot of I found for me a lot of inner honesty was important. Okay. I didn't want to bullshit myself through to spiritual things. I don't want to be a bullshit anything. So it was, it was important to me to be honest. Okay. So I would actually spend some time with things like, uh, let's say, a game, a, a pro and con game I, I established for myself. What do I like about me at this level? What's your positives? And I, da, 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 yeah, good, good. What don't you like? What are your negatives? And right there, I wouldn't say, oh, uh, well, I don't really want to get into my negatives. Whatever was there, not no, at this level, you're chicken shit. Well, a warrior doesn't want to say he's chicken shit, but at a certain level, I am. I'm a Pisces for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Right? I told you, a weak Pisces should be put to sleep at birth. That's what I meant. <laughs> hey, we're running out of time here. Last, last, anything important about this before I get up and leave. Thank you so much, Sensei. Okay. <laughs> Everyone have Thank a good you. evening. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you, Thank Sensei. Sensei. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you, Bob. Thank you, Sensei.